The air they breathed was a superpower. This wasn't our world. It was a planet on fire. Volcanoes raged, splitting the continents. Forests burned, releasing billions of tons of carbon dioxide. The atmosphere became thick, a planetary greenhouse. Plants grew to monstrous sizes, fueled by the rich air. But something else was growing with them. Tiny, two-legged creatures darted through the undergrowth. They were small, fast, and insignificant. But the world was changing. The air was getting richer. More oxygen flooded the planet than ever before. This superoxygenated air was like a drug. It fueled their metabolism, pushed their growth, and allowed them to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Their bones became hollow, like a bird's, forming a network of air sacs, an ultra-efficient breathing system that pumped oxygen directly into their bodies. They weren't just breathing, they were mainlining rocket fuel. This wasn't just evolution, it was an atmospheric arms race. Every breath made them larger. Every heartbeat pumped super-oxygenated blood through their veins. Their necks stretched the treetops. Their tails became colossal weapons. Sauropods, the titans of this era, didn't just eat the giant forests. They became walking ecosystems themselves. An Argentinosaurus, weighing a hundred tons, moved like a living mountain. Its heart, the size of a small car, pumped blood up its forty-foot neck. Its footsteps were earthquakes. This wasn't just about food. The very air they inhaled gave them the blueprint for gigantism. But this atmospheric gift came with a price. The world that created these giants was incredibly volatile. The same supercharged atmosphere that fed their growth also fueled continent-sized firestorms. The ground shook with constant quakes, and the sky held the secret that would eventually wipe them all out. The Age of Titans was built on a knife's edge, and the same thing that made them huge, dot dot dot, would also seal their doom.